Hey beautiful souls, welcome to Twin Flame Reading Channel. This particular group of divine masculine individuals has found themselves stuck in a relationship with a karmic third party who only cares about themselves. This person is obsessed with getting wealth, status, and material things, and they will do anything to get what they want. They don't care who they hurt or exploit along the way, leaving a trail of destruction and suffering wherever they go. This person's methods are cruel and frightening, they have no sense of right or wrong, no empathy, and no remorse. They are entirely focused on their own gain, and they use any means necessary to achieve their goals. They are deeply involved in dark arts, like black magic, spells, and voodoo, using these sinister methods to control and manipulate those around them. Their manipulation is so intense and overwhelming that it feels like an inescapable nightmare for those caught in their web. The Divine Masculine, who are naturally drawn to light and goodness, find themselves in constant turmoil and confusion. This person uses dark arts to cloud their judgment and weaken their resolve, making it hard for them to break free. The feeling of being trapped and manipulated is overwhelming, causing immense emotional and mental distress. Every encounter with this karmic third party leaves deep scars, as their actions are designed to drain the divine masculine of their energy and spirit. The use of dark magic creates a suffocating atmosphere of fear and uncertainty. The divine masculine feels like they are constantly under attack, with their peace and happiness being systematically torn apart by this person's relentless pursuit of power and wealth. The manipulator's greed has no limits, they exploit every opportunity to advance their own interests, no matter the cost to others. This relentless pursuit of material gain often results in the divine masculine being isolated from their support networks, as the manipulator's influence creates rifts and conflicts in their personal and professional relationships. This sense of isolation only deepens the Divine Masculine's despair and helplessness. But now, their schemes have been exposed, and the Divine Masculine has finally seen through their lies. The once hidden tricks are now obvious, showing how deceitful the karmic third party really is. In a desperate attempt to keep control over the Divine Masculine's life, this person might do very extreme things. They could try taking out life insurance policies, hoping to gain from any bad luck that might happen to the Divine Masculine. They might also try to trap him in a marriage or a complicated financial deal, hoping to tighten their grip and make it even harder for him to get away. Your partner deeply regrets bringing her so close to himself, he looks back with sadness and guilt, wishing he had seen through her lies earlier. Realizing how deeply he was tricked is a heavy burden on his heart, he feels sorry for letting her get so involved in his life. He doesn't want you to know how much he is suffering now, after so many nights spent with her, he now feels a deep sense of loneliness. Each night they shared is a painful reminder of how one-sided their connection really was. She never returned his feelings, leaving him emotionally alone despite their physical closeness. His nights are sleepless, filled with thoughts of regret and longing for a different life. The love he thought he had was just an illusion, a cruel trick that has now shattered, 
leaving him in despair. He yearns for the warmth and real connection that he was denied, feeling a profound sense of loss. As he deals with this emotional pain, he is determined to break free from her control. He wants to rebuild his life, to find true happiness and peace. He knows it will be a hard journey, filled with challenges and setbacks, but he is ready to face them with courage and strength. He hopes that with time, he can heal from this ordeal and take back his life. The road to recovery will be long and tough, but he is committed to it. He dreams of a future where he can feel true love and companionship, free from manipulation and lies. With determination and support, he believes he can overcome this dark chapter and become stronger, wiser, and more resilient. This third party, or karmic, is driven by an insatiable hunger for power and control. They are always looking for ways to boost their ego and fill their bank account, never satisfied with what they have. This person's behavior is entirely consumed by their own ambition and greed. Their desires are like a bottomless pit, always wanting more and they will do whatever it takes to get what they want, no matter the cost to others. Their need for power and control is relentless. Every day, they wake up with a single-minded focus on how to gain more influence and wealth. It's not just a goal, it's an obsession that drives every action they take. They manipulate, deceive, and exploit anyone who crosses their path if it means getting ahead. They see people not as individuals with feelings and needs, but as tools to be used and discarded once they are no longer useful. This person's ambition knows no bounds, they are willing to cross any line, break any rule, and violate any trust to achieve their goals. They don't care about the pain and suffering they cause along the way. Friends, family, colleagues, no one is safe from their ruthless pursuit of success. They wear a mask of charm and friendliness, but underneath lies a heart that is cold and calculating, always plotting the next move to climb higher. Their greed is like a disease that has taken over their entire being. It's not just about money and material possessions, although they crave those as well. It's about the thrill of dominance, the rush of feeling superior, and the satisfaction of bending others to their will. This greed is all-consuming, leaving no room for compassion or empathy. They live in a world where the end always justifies the means, no matter how many people get hurt in the process. The harm they cause is not accidental, it is deliberate and planned. They exploit weaknesses, twist the truth, and create conflicts to weaken and destabilize those around them. They take pleasure in the chaos they create as it often opens the door for them to step in and take control. The pain and destruction they leave behind are seen as unimportant compared to their own gain. The cards indicate that you're having a hard time making progress in your financial journey because of conflicts inside and outside yourself. These conflicts are creating roadblocks that are hard to overcome. The Eight of Swords suggests that you feel trapped and limited by your current situation. It's as if invisible chains are holding you back, making you believe there is no way out. This sense of being stuck is frustrating and can feel overwhelming, leading to a feeling of helplessness. The Five of Wands shows that there is inner turmoil and disharmony within you, 
Your mind is constantly at war with itself, filled with conflicting thoughts and emotions. This mental chaos makes it challenging to focus on your financial goals. You find it hard to concentrate because your energy is scattered in different directions. Every step forward seems to be met with resistance, both from within and from your external environment. This lack of harmony makes it difficult to move forward with confidence and clarity. The Hermit advises taking a step back from the chaos to clear your mind. It suggests that you need some time alone to reflect on your financial situation. This is a time for introspection, to look within yourself for answers. It's important to seek clarity and guidance from your inner voice, as the solutions to your financial problems lie within your intuition. By withdrawing from the noise and distractions, you can gain a fresh perspective on your financial journey. You might feel overwhelmed by the weight of your financial challenges, but taking a step back can help you see things more clearly. Reflecting on your situation allows you to understand the root causes of your financial struggles. It gives you the space to think about what you really want and how you can achieve it. This period of introspection can be enlightening, helping you to reconnect with your goals and aspirations. However, the chaos and noise around and within you must be quieted to hear your inner wisdom. This overwhelming noise and confusion can make it hard to think clearly or make good decisions. It feels like a storm raging inside and outside of you, drowning out the quiet, steady voice of your intuition. To truly hear this inner wisdom, you need to find a way to calm the storm. Take time to meditate, finding a quiet space where you can breathe deeply and let go of the stress and tension. Meditation helps to quiet the mind, allowing your true thoughts and feelings to emerge. Journaling is another powerful tool, by writing down your thoughts and feelings, you can start to make sense of the chaos inside you. Journaling helps to clarify your thoughts and can reveal patterns and insights that were hidden before. It's a way of talking to yourself, of drawing out the wisdom that lies within. It's also a way of releasing pent-up emotions and stress, making room for clearer thinking and better decision-making. Connecting with your inner self is crucial. Spend time alone, away from distractions and demands. Listen to your heart and your intuition. Your inner self holds the answers you seek but you need to be quiet and still to hear them. Trust that your inner wisdom is there to guide you, even if it's been drowned out by the noise of everyday life. Once you have found some clarity, create a logical plan to move forward. This plan should be realistic and achievable, breaking down your financial goals into manageable steps. By having a clear plan, you can move forward with confidence and purpose. This plan will serve as a roadmap, guiding you through the complexities of your financial journey. 
It's a way of turning your insights and reflections into concrete actions.